So what does hue mean? When it's written on the side of your painting jar or on your tube, this says cobalt blue hue. What does hue mean? Let me tell you what hue means. Cobalt blue and cobalt blue hue are made differently. Cobalt blue is made with cobalt, which is a heavy metal, right? And can be a carcinogen. Uh, that's the reason many paint manufacturers now, they'll possibly have the cobalt blue, but they'll also have an option, which is cobalt blue hue. And some have completely removed ones with strictly cobalt and go, gone with just the hue. What hue means is as opposed to cobalt blue, which is a mineral pigment made with minerals, natural minerals like cobalt, the hue is a man-made, man-made pigment made through organic chemistry. Now, when I first started seeing hue on the side of paint jars, I thought, man, that's got to be just not good paint it's less expensive it says hue that means it must be a you know i don't know what that is here's the truth hue probably is what you actually want to use as opposed to the paint that has the heavy metal in it now you may see cadmium red medium hue or cadmium yellow hue i prefer that I prefer not to have all those carcinogens than the toxicity in the paint that I use. So there's only one or two colors that I use that have the heavy metal in them just because there's not a, an option for the man-made, right? So we're talking about a mineral pigment versus a man-made pigment. Uh, now, if you look at some other colors, uh, let's say for instance, uh, benzamidazoline. What in the world is benzamidazoline, right? That's a crazy name. Well, you know, I don't know what other manufacturers do, but I know Golden, uh, when they make a color like benzamidazolone, Benz for short, uh, there again, it's a man-made pigment. Uh, benzamidazolone happens to be the first and major ingredient in the organic compound for the paint. That's the reason it's named that. Another one would be quinacridone magenta or dioxazine purple. So it's through organic chemistry that these colors come about and they can approximate the color of cobalt blue or cadmium yellow or cadmium red through organic chemistry. And that's really what it is. It's, it's mineral pigments versus man-made pigments. And unfortunately, a lot of those mineral pigments happen to be carcinogens. They're heavy metal, chromium, cadmium, cobalt. These are things that you don't want in your system. If you paint with your hands like I do sometimes uh, without using gloves, which I know really is not something you should do, um, but that stuff will seep into your, through your skin and can eventually get into your bloodstream. So the less, the less toxic those chemicals in the paints are, the better off you're going to be. So protect yourself. Be careful out there is what I always tell my students. Be careful out there. Uh, you know, and there's no paint manufacturers that recommend ever putting the paint on their on your hands, right? You really should not have it on your hands or anything else. You should wear gloves, which I don't do. And I, you know, I say one thing and do another, but uh, I do it actually more now than I've ever done it in the past. Uh, but be careful out there. And if it says hue, on the side of your paint tube or the side of the jar and it's less expensive and the color's great and the properties of working the paint are the same, by all means, get that paint. It's less toxic unless you're a hardcore, yeah, I got to have those heavy metals in it for it to be good paint. You know, I'm not in that group of believers. I believe that the paint compounds in the hues are better. The tinting strength is better than the originals. Uh, so I go with them whenever I can. Hey, it costs me less money. The paints are less toxic. The colors are better. The tinting strength is better. Hey, what's not to like, right? What's not to like? So I hope this was helpful for you. If you've ever been confused by those paint labels, you know, don't be confused. It's just, you know, heavy metals versus man-made pigments. Uh, it's up to you which way you cho choose to go. 
Uh, I can't help you with your choice. I can just give you the facts of what one is and what one isn't. So I hope it was helpful for you. Uh, if you're out and about, if you're a workshop taker, you want to take a workshop with me, you know, I have a, a link to the, uh, all my workshops in the description below. Please check those out. Meet me at a workshop, man. It'd be awesome. We'll have a good time. Uh, 2019, I got more workshops than ever here at the studio. So come see me, small group, five people only. And I'll even feed you while you're here. All right. If I don't see you at a workshop, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.